Uh, you gotta meet mine. I met her in a disco, boy. She was standing against the wall holding up the fucking building. <laughs> Maybe three, 450 pounds, you know? Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notification. My boobs. If you bought a correctly fitting bra, instead of the ones you buy, the twins probably wouldn't be giving you problems. I'm very, very, very fucking hyper right now, so we are going to get it today. We're going to go up that hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack and Jill went up the hill, both with a buck and a quarter. Jill came down with 250. Oh! That fucking whore. You can be addicted to a certain kind of sadness. So first I have some things to talk about before we go. Talking and walking up that hill is not going to happen. So I'm going to finish my coffee. This is all I've had since my chicken parm. I have... absolutely no appetite and i know that's not good but you know what after this we're gonna go get some uh chicken a chicken brochette and some greek salad yes you just got done saying you're not hungry and you know that's not good who are you bullshitting here you are never not hungry you are always putting something in your mouth Aubrey, so i changed my name to the chantal show I want you guys to be patient with me. I know a lot of you like the um, recorded videos and a lot of you love the live streams. I'm addicted to the live streams because on You are addicted to them because you are lazy. It takes a real effort to pre-record a video, edit it, then render it, then upload it. The other reason, besides the super chats, is because... I'm an attention whore. So, um, I'm reinventing my channel. It's going to be a little bit of a process. I want to have my own, like, show. Like, I've always wanted to have my own show. And, you know, it's not just about food. You're right. It's not all about food. It's about how many edibles can I eat and still stay awake. And it's also about imaginary lovers and complaints about Pete's, all while munching out. And it's, it's you know, it's really not even really about food that much anymore. Um, there will be food. Obviously, I still eat on camera with you guys. But I want it to be more of like my a reality show of my life almost, you know? What happened? Did TLC pass on your idea for a foodie beauty reality show? Um, I'm going through a lot of changes. I'm going to be going through more changes. And um, I will do some vlogs as well. But whenever I don't live stream and I don't get to talk to you guys, I just really miss you guys, you know? Like, I really do. I have to call bullshit here from the videos that you have done. That I have been watching. It's more like training films on how to lose subscribers. So I titled this Big Girls Are Easy because I was thinking a lot about the Tinder situation and hooking up and things like that. And I'm starting to wonder if that's true. You know how they always say, you hear the stereotype that bigger girls, they have low self-esteem. So lower self-esteem and they don't get as many boys so they don't have much of a choice. So they're easier, right? Do you guys think that's true? First, are you saying fat girls when you mean morbidly obese girls like yourself? I know many girls that are what we call thick, they have a little weight, but not like you and they are a lot taller than you as well, so their weight really has no bearing on their appearance or self-worth. I, I wonder if some men think of us that way. You mentioned Tinder, that fiasco was all your fault. You are the one who went apeshit over the guy, who I still believe was not real, and now this gives you the reason to talk about men believing fat girls are easy. You are the one that is easy, and there is plenty of proof in all your videos about all your sexual escapades. Okay, when I reinvent my channel, I need to really think about this mod situation. I don't know who's permanently blocking people. It might have been the troll mod I had. I don't know. But we're going to have to tell her to email me uh, the link to her channel. If you're blocked, email me the link to the channel. I will get to it. I will unblock you. I'm going to pay more attention to that because I don't want people blocked. Like, You should pay more attention to that. As a contact creator, you should already have had parameters set up for your moderators. 
This is what happens when all you do is think about the money, you're blinded from what's important, keeping your chat and subscribers safe. You don't have to block people unless they're seriously spamming, if they're racist, if they're really, really being really offensive to other people. Like, I don't even care what people think about me anymore. Honestly, I don't. So it's just to make people feel comfortable when they come in here. I don't want it to be overrun with negativity. But at the same time, it is YouTube, you know, so. I guess time will tell how long you will allow constructive criticism that you know down deep you feel a negative. I bet it won't take long before you start bouncing people out for that. So some developments in my love life. I guess it would be lack of love life. Lack of love life, yeah, for sure. You can get laid with the snap of a finger. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. Um, I think I'm cool. I I'm totally over this fucking Nicholas guy. Like, he can suck my fat dick. But <laughs> I'm not even mad. Whatever. He didn't like me. I mean, I block people all the time, right? How can you block somebody that never existed? As I said, I'm going to stick with that because I never saw a picture of him or saw them together in a video. I think she came up with the name Nicholas from the one creator on YouTube that she idolizes and copies a lot. I'm going to chill out. Like, I think that men, and this is a stereotype too, but it does, I, I would say, especially on Tinder, Plenty of Fish, I really reevaluated. I really was like thinking about it and I'm like, no, I don't want a relationship right now. I'm going through a lot of changes. I don't have time for one. I just need the time for myself and, you know, everything else. So... What happened was I came to the realization that's what I don't want. I don't want a relationship, even though I think think that I do. That's not what I'm seeking. You know, I, I, I think I was seeking a lot of validation from outside sources. Don't blame the men on Tinder or any of the other apps. They are there for the same reason that you were, to get a booty call. When you realized that no man on Tinder or any of those other apps wanted you, you couldn't lose face with your subscribers. So now the change of not wanting a relationship, and that you need to work on yourself. I have to give you props for such a well-played trolling job, with the Tinder hottie and all the other man you've been talking to. When it has to come from me, and I'm going through that, where it's like my whole life I've never, never, never truly accepted myself, you know? I've never really loved myself in the right way, and I would abuse my body, I would abuse myself as a way of, like... Um, I don't know, like just punishing myself, you know, and just like denying that. So all that to say, I don't, I don't want a relationship right now. Like I had with BB or Pete's or whatever, but, um, I think some sexual activity would be fun and like down the line if it happens. So, um, <laughs> guess who messaged me today? So, I can't, okay, I know there's a lot of guys I've been talking about. We have code names for them. So the one guy I've been talking to since day one, like this guy messaged me like from day one, and it's the Don <laughs> Andreas you <laughs> Donkey Kong Dubai. <laughs> no, was it Donkey Kong Dubai? Yeah, the donkey wiener. <laughs> and you expect people to take you seriously. You're almost 40, and you act like a teenager. It's time to grow up. When she starts talking like this and acting like a 14-year-old, that's when I get to the point where... I can't take much more of this. That's it for today, folks. Make sure you stick around and watch. Grub time.
Thank you all for watching our video. Please like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications of new videos. Take care and we will see you all in the next video.